Hi, and thanks again for joining me with Learning with Natural Hair. I'm Halima, and I'm coming back to show you um, a different prep for crocheting in the hair because I knew before I went into um, crocheting the hair in the last video that I showed on video 86 that those braids were too big and too far apart, but I tried it anyway, and no. <laughs> so I'm coming to you with a new video, and what I am doing is I'm in the process of braiding my hair into a circular pattern going around my head which will end up somewhere in the middle I suppose and then um, this is my new prep for crocheting and right now I'm just braiding my own natural hair I'm not putting any um, any synthetic hair in with these braids and so I'll show you what I've been doing I started actually here but here is where I am right now, and I'm going to go from here and just show you kind of how I'm braiding this in. So if you can watch. I know it's kind of dark, um, but I'm just braiding. And I'm going around in a circle. And you want to try to make sure that there aren't too many weak spots in your braid um, as you're going around. The parts don't have to be perfect, and if you have some weak spots, it might be okay, but make sure it's not to the point to where you put the crochet hair in, and you pull, and the braid comes out, because that would be not good for what you want to do. So just kind of make sure that your braid is secure as you're going around at the same time, try not to make it unbearably tight or um, unhealth, un uh, tight in an unhealthy way. Um, try to get it tight as you can without hurting your scalp. Okay, so once I've gotten to this left side of my head and I'm about to go up, I have to change the position of my hands because it just makes it a little easier to braid. So that's what I'm going to do now. Instead of going down, I'm going to bring my arms around. So. And then you just continue braiding upward. Okay, so I'll stop right there, but that's a process for how you braid in the circle. 
And once you get to that switch, it is a little tricky about which way, which position your fingers need to go in, but practice makes perfect. And you can also get someone to help you if you know someone who can help you on the way up. Otherwise, just keep keep working at it. Try to figure out which um, way your fingers need to go in um, or the hair strands need to go in to keep braiding in the direction that you were going before you flipped. And I hope to come back and show you the finished product after I get the hair crocheted in to my braids. And um, please continue to come back and join me for learning with natural hair. Thanks, and have a wonderful night or day. <laughs>